In today's video, we're going to be going over the five best free video editors available right now. Each of these video editors are going to be completely usable in their free version, and you don't have to worry about this or this. So rest assured, no matter which video editor you download, you can create complete videos and don't have to worry about any sort of watermarks. Now I've used all of these editors before, so I'll be going over the pros, cons, and compatibility, and by the end of this video, you can find the perfect editor for you. Whether you're looking for an editor for school, YouTube, or work, you'll be able to find the perfect editors to suit your needs. Now I've also made tutorials for most of these editors and I'll link them down below along with all of the download links. And if you guys wanna see more videos like this, be sure to hit that like button down below. And with that being said, let's get started. Now the first video editor on this list is the Canva video editor. And Canva is actually a photo editing tool, but they've recently come out with a free video editor that's really good. What's awesome is that it's completely online, so it doesn't matter if you're on Windows or Mac, you can just go on the website and use the editor without having to download anything. And the video editor has a built-in free screen recorder as well. With the Canva video editor, you can easily string together clips as well as add text different animations, transitions, as well as different levels of audio. Now what's great about Canva is that it also has a bunch of free elements and templates as well. So if you're a new editor, then you can definitely take advantage of a lot of these elements and use them to make great videos. Now the one downside about Canva is that it's a single layer video editor, so you can't create complex videos, but if you're a beginner that's looking to get into video editing and you need a free editor that you can use online, Canva is the perfect choice for you. Now if you're looking for something more advanced, I would highly recommend DaVinci Resolve 17. The free version of the editor is still a fully fledged editor which you can use to make a bunch of different videos. With DaVinci Resolve, there's no watermarks or time limits. Now there is an exporting limit, but you can only export up to, oh yeah, 4K 60 FPS, which should be good for most of you. Now what you do get in DaVinci Resolve is a fully fledged multi-layer video editor, and you can do things such as add text, music, audio, and more. Now not only that, but you can also animate within DaVinci Resolve as well as do some basic color correction. So it has everything you need to make complete videos. The DaVinci Resolve interface is also easier to use compared to other editors I found. Now the only drawback I would say is that with DaVinci Resolve, you do need a fairly powerful PC to run it. DaVinci Resolve 17 is available for both Windows and Mac. And if you want to upgrade in the future, they also have a pro version available for $300, which is DaVinci Resolve Studio. Now, in the free version, the only real limitations you have are you know, not having access to advanced GPU configuration or other advanced you know, noise reduction features. But for 99.9% .9 of people, DaVinci Resolve 17 is the perfect free video editor. Now, if you like the idea of DaVinci Resolve, but you don't have the computer to run it, I would recommend VSDC. Now, looks can be deceiving and VSDC looks like a very old program, but it's very powerful and is constantly being updated and it will definitely surprise you. VSDC is actually a complete layer-based editor that's used by over 5 million people and you don't need a powerful computer to run it. What's also great about VSDC is that if you ever want to upgrade to the pro version, which I don't think most people will need to, the pro version also only costs $25, which is something important to keep in mind if you do eventually want to upgrade. Now, of course, within VSDC, you can do any sort of editing you like. So you can add clips, cut them, add text, music, animations, effects. There's also a ton of built-in effects that you can use, as well as do color correction and motion tracking. Now, the only difference is that between the free version and the pro version, there's some additional features that you could unlock such as you know specific transitions or advanced motion tracking but once again if you have the free version of VSDC you can make a ton of videos and there's no time limits or watermarks and I've actually created a full tutorial that you can also watch that I'll link down below that shows how you can use these editors to create complete videos. Now the one drawback is that VSDC is only available on Windows but if you're a Mac user don't worry the next two options are definitely compatible with both Windows and Mac. Next up on the list, we have Caden Live, and Caden Live is a free open source video editor available on Windows, Mac, and Linux. And the great thing is that it's fully free, so as soon as you get it, you have access to all the features and you don't have to worry about any limitations whatsoever. So apart from all of the default editing features, such as of course being able to edit clips and add text and music, Caden Live takes it a step further and you get access to a lot of advanced features, such as different types of scoping, so you can see the balance levels of your colors and your audio. You can also do some keyframe editing and easily manage your interface as well as create custom shortcuts. So if you have a video editing background, you can definitely take advantage of Caden Live. 
Now, one con about Kaden Live is that some users do find it to be buggy, but of course, I would recommend that you try it out and see for yourself. And if you're an advanced video editor that has some experience and wants an advanced free editor, I would highly recommend Kaden Live. And the final editor on this list is Shotcut. Shotcut is also a free open source editor that you can use on Windows, Mac, or Linux. And once again, you get access to every single feature once you download it. So you don't have to worry about, you know, any sort of exporting limits or watermarks or even getting access to features because you get all of the features as soon as you get Shotcut. I would say that Shotcut is a slightly toned down version of Kaden Live, so it's a little bit easier to use, but it still supports hundreds of different audio and video formats, and you can create fully fledged videos with Shotcut. Just like all of the other editors on this list, you can also export videos in either 1080p or 4K, and Shotcut actually has a lot of really cool features that you can use on top of the default features, such as being able to do green screening and chroma keying, you can blur different clips, stabilize them, and much, much more. The only thing I would say is that it's difficult to set presets with Shotcut. So every time you're exporting, you do have to know the different settings. But of course, with some tutorials, this is really easy to navigate. So if you're looking for a free editor that has a lot of different features and you don't want to worry about unlocking any you know, features in the future, I would highly recommend Shotcut. The final con with Shotcut is that it's a little bit more intensive than Kaden Live. So if you do have a lower end PC or an older laptop, then things might lag a little bit compared to using an editor such as VSDC or Kaden Live. But once again, I would just try them out to see if your PC can support it. And I'll also link each editor down below in the description so you can check the requirements. But that's about it for this video. Hopefully I helped you find the perfect video editor. And if I did, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching. My name is Iovo and I'm signing out.